How can I do research with people with profound intellectual and multiple disabilities? That's the first question of my doctoral research. Um, <laughs> I think it's worth thinking about what research is because we automatically understand it as a, a set of processes and well-established practices like interviewing people or counting things. Um, but those are ways in which we do research. If you go to its core, what it is, is an attempt to find new meaning um, that's fueled by curiosity. You know, I remember when I started my doctorate, we were shown in an introductory lecture this diagram that displays the whole of human knowledge as a circle and it says you like you know this much and then you specialise and you know a bit more of this segment and your job as a doctoral researcher is to know something that hasn't been known before, to push forth the boundaries of knowledge and it's that direction, that movement of curiosity towards new meaning, new understanding, towards something that's not been known before that is research and then all those processes and procedures are the ways in which we do it. And in trying to answer the question, how can I do research with people with profound intellectual and multiple disabilities, I didn't try and get them to do those processes and procedures because a lot of them are reliant on having intellectual capacity. And although I might be able to puppet you through them, it didn't feel meaningful. What I was looking for was a way of us doing that meaningfully together. And I got to work with a group of fabulous young women and together we came up with an answer to the question. An answer for us, it might be an answer that other people can use, who knows. And so we present the methodology of being with and this film is going to be my first attempt at describing it concisely. So in being with, people are understood not as minds rattling around in the boxes of their bodies, but as flows of consciousness through time. So I'm not looking for movements that indicate some internal state. I'm recognising them as being in the world, a world of which they are fundamentally a part and they are moving in consciousness through that world. So you might not be physically moving, but if you are conscious, you are a movement through time. Um, Merleau-Ponty and lots of other phenomenologists say that we experience ourselves as a movement towards the world. And he adds that that movement is directed by intention. So like when I want a drink, I see my glass, I place my intention in the glass, and then I experience myself as a movement towards, you know, I pick up the drink and I drink it. I experience myself as a movement towards the world. And if you know where someone's intention lies, like mine in the glass of water, then you have information that allows you to work out essentially the vector flow of their consciousness because you know that they are moving through time. But if you know in what direction they're moving through time, then you have more of a sense of where their being is, where, where they are. And being with is a space rather than a physical location. So to find it, you have to take up the other person in your engagement. And that's a, it's a challenge like picking up unfired clay to place into a kiln. You've got to hold it enough to know its shape with your touch, but you mustn't squeeze it so that you change its shape. But I prefer the analogy of us as currents in the ocean, if you think of people as the movement of consciousness through time, then you could, uh, uh, through time and space of which we're fundamentally apart, that's like being a current in an ocean, you know, a current is a distinct thing, but it's fundamentally a part of the ocean it flows through. And if I'm a current flowing and they're a current flowing, then to be with them, I can't, you know, do that and knock their flow off. I have to figure out where their flow and you know converging and diverging aren't going to work either. I've got to figure out the direction of their flow and then flow you know perfectly alongside them. And if you can do that, there is a moment where or moments where 
you are not two separate currents, you're one current flowing together. You are being with, your being, your movement of your consciousness is with another movement of consciousness. So I aim to do that with the people that I work with. So I aim to move my intention in the same way that they were moving their intention. And if that could be done, it created this sort of moment of transparency between us where we were sharing our apprehension of the meaning we experienced. And I was calling it collaborative collocative curiosity because that really describes what it is and it's just a great bit of alliteration. We are collaborating to co-locate our curiosity, that intentional flow is your curiosity. And it's a bit of, you know, that placing of intention in doing that, how that's done is really significant because the movement's not simply looking at what they're interested in and pretending to be interested in it too or placing your attention where their intention is. It has to be an open-hearted acceptance of their whole being and a willingness to join them where they are and how they are no matter where they are and how they are. And so in that, it's what Handy Yeager describes as a movement of love. And it wasn't, it was collaborative. It's not something I could do alone because you can't stay in that space if somebody doesn't want to stay with you. So we both have to flow in intentional consciousness in the same direction together. And once we'd found that space of being with, we invited questions about identity using novel objects, and I'm sure there'll be other films about the novel objects. Um, and in doing that, we flowed in curiosity, we flowed towards something we hadn't experienced before, towards meaning we hadn't apprehended before together. You know, we did that business, we did research together in an embodied fashion. So. Um, how can I do research with people who found intellectual and multiple disabilities? You might use the method of being with. 